Hey, what's up? This is Eric Wong from PrecisionMovement.Coach and today we're going to go through a technique that I call the three-way shoulder mobilization. So this technique is great if you've just got generally tight shoulders, you need more shoulder mobility. If you have been diagnosed or you think you have a shoulder impingement and any of the kind of subsets of shoulder impingement including subacromial bursitis, rotator cuff tendonitis, and things like that, okay? So this mobilization is great because we're not only getting a stretch in through the shoulder joint, we're getting traction of the shoulder joint so that we're creating space in the joint to allow blood flow and circulation in there for healing. So if you've got an injury, that's gonna help. And we're also doing some activation of the muscles in the end ranges of motion. So we're gonna be able to build strength there and increase stability and mobility in the shoulder. So what you need to do is set up a strength band just about a medium resistance or go a little bit lighter. You don't need anything too, too heavy because with a lighter band, you can just step back a little further. So set it up anywhere between head and chest height. And then you're just gonna loop your hand inside and around and just make sure the, the band is kind of crossed over and then you grab onto it, okay? So then it's not gonna slip out of your hands. From here, you're just gonna step back a little bit and it, I call it the three-way mobilization because there's three positions. So the first position I'm just gonna show you is in neutral position. Everybody can do this, okay? So you're gonna step back a little bit. The first thing you do is protract your scapula. So protracting the scapula is when the scapula moves forward, okay? My, I'm not rotating my body. It's just strict protraction of the scapula, okay? So right there, make sure the scapula doesn't elevate, get elevated so I'm not shrugging my shoulders but pro strict pro protraction. And then from here, I'm just gonna rotate, internally and externally rotate the shoulder. Full range, hold it at end range for two seconds. And I'm just showing you my scapula here. And then focus on the elbow, not the wrist. Turning the elbow, rotating the elbow. Two seconds at the end, and just do that three times. So one, two, and then rotate slowly, control, one, two, and you do that three times. So this is my third time. External rotation, the crook of the elbow is pointing up, and the internal rotation, the crook of the elbow is pointing down and in, okay? So that's in protraction. Now, I'm gonna retract the scapula. So you see here, my scapula, the border of my scapula is moved from here all the way to here, but I'm not rotating my torso. Okay, I'm staying square to the wall. Now in retraction, I'm gonna do the same thing. So three cycles of internal and external rotation holding for two seconds at either end. So what we're doing is we're firing up these rotator muscles at these end ranges of scapular motion. And we're also, because of the rotation, we're also scouring the joint, okay? Now it's important that you don't let the, the shoulder hike. So keep the shoulder in neutral and think of all the motion come from the scapula, okay? Like so. So that's the first position. I recommend everybody starts out in neutral. Second position is abduction, horizontal, uh, horizontally abduct, or to do that, I just rotate my body like that. So the arm is in line now and the band is in line with my body. And make sure we just have a little bit of pull. And we're gonna do the same thing, okay? So start with the scapula protracted, so the scapula is sliding that way, okay? But I'm not moving my body, okay? It's just my body stays right, right here, and then protraction. External rotation. Thick of the shoulder, not the wrist. Internal rotation. Now, with this one, the internal rotation, you want to be careful that you don't do this. See how my shoulder is kind of rotating downwards? Keep the shoulder where it is, and it's just the humerus, so the arm bone, is rotating in the socket. So again, three cycles, internal rotation, hold for two seconds, external rotation, hold for two seconds. Then we retract the scapula. So I'm sucking the scapula in, okay? Just like that, same thing. Two cycles, or three cycles of internal and external rotation, focusing on the motion of the humerus and the elbow, not the wrist. I'm not worrying about turning my wrist. All the motion is focused here. That's where my intention is, okay? Finally, adduction. So I'm turning this way. So you don't wanna go all the way in where the elbow bends. You wanna be able to keep your elbow straight here. So elbow is straight, and just angle my body to whatever range I have. Make sure the, the shoulder stays depressed. It's not elevated, not shrugging the shoulders, okay? And then start with 
protracted scapula. So I'm reaching my arm towards the wall and then rotating three cycles, internal external rotation, holding for two seconds at either end. And then watch this, retract the scapula, okay? And then same thing, internal external rotation for three cycles at either end. So this whole process is gonna take anywhere from two to three minutes per shoulder, okay? But as you can see, there's a lot more than just jumping into it and getting, letting the band pull you. This is a more advanced technique. Gotta focus on it a little bit more, but because you put in that effort, you're gonna get more out of it, okay? To recap, we're getting the decompression, the traction, to allow for blood flow to open that shoulder joint up, because if we have any kind of impingement, then this decompression is great for it. It allows the blood flow, the circulation, and the healing, okay? We're getting the internal and external rotators involved at end ranges of motion, so with protracted and retracted scapula. Okay, you gotta really know how to control your scapula there. And then we're hitting three different positions. Adduction of the shoulder. This is gonna help to also hit the posterior capsule of the shoulder a little bit more, which is often restricted in people. We're getting neutral position, and then we're getting abduction. And we're able to build that strength and control of the scapula in all those different positions with those different movements. Okay, so this technique is great for mobilizing the shoulders, and not only that, but developing control in your shoulder joint. So like you saw, we're doing all this protraction, retraction of the scapula, internal and external rotation. Control of the scapula is very, very important in developing for a lifetime of healthy shoulders. So if you've ever had any shoulder pain or you're dealing with it right now or any problems associated with your shoulders, then I suggest you check out my scap control program because this is gonna progress you through a number of different techniques from beginner up to advanced to help you develop strength, stability, and control of your scapula. So check that out. You can hit up the link at the end of this video or just go to the description in this video and you'll see the link right there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this technique. Again, I'm Eric Wong from precisionmovement.coach. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.